Let's take a look at this problem. We got z equal to negative 3 square root of 2 plus 3i square root of 2. First off, let's identify our a and b. a is the real part, which is right here, and b is this part, excluding the i. So, um, find a polar representation. First off, let's just graph this, just get an idea of what we're dealing with. Now the a corresponds to our x-axis, so I've got negative 3 square root of 2, and then we've got 3i square root of 2, So this would be um, our point we're dealing with. Now, this has a certain radius goes along with it, and then this has an angle. Theta goes along with it. So first thing we'll do is we'll find r. This is also referred to as modulus of z. Equal to r, which is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we're going to have negative 3 square root of 2 squared plus 3 square root of 2 squared. Now you square each one of those separately since they're multiplied together. So we'll take negative 3 squared and we'll take square root of 2 squared and over here we'll take 3 squared and square root of 2 squared now negative 3 squared is 9 so when you square a square root they cancel each other so it gives us 2 over here we got 3 squared which is 9 and that gives us 2 so we're going to have 9 times 2 which is 18 plus 9 times 2, which is 18, which is square root of 36. Well, this comes out nice. 36 is 6 times 6, which gives us 6 then. So that's R. We also need to find theta. And first off, we'll consider if it's on a unicircle. So we've got cosine theta is equal to x over r, and remember x was a in this problem. So a over r. And sine is equal to y over r, and y is b in this problem, so it's b over r. Okay, a. a is negative 3 square root of 2 over r, which is 6. Uh, 3 and 6 both reduce, so that gives me a negative square root of 2 over 2. Now b. b is 3 square root of 2 over r, which is 6, and 3 and 6 reduce, and that gives us square root of 2 over 2. Now we're going around in a unit circle, looking at different points. And uh, let me think. Pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. Okay, this is 3 pi over 4. If I look at this point, it would be negative. Just don't have enough room here. This point here is negative square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2 which is what we're looking for because on our unit circle the cosine is your x and the sine is your y so that tells us that theta is equal to 3 pi over 4 now first thing that I want to find is our polar representation so um, for that r is 6 and then we have cis and then theta, which is 3 pi over 4. Now 
Now some books will write that differently. They'll say 6 and then they'll put cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus i sine of 3 pi over 4. Okay, then they want us to find the real part of z. That goes back to our original problem. The real part is your a. So that's negative 3 square root of 2. They want us to find the imaginary part. That goes back to the real, the first problem. And that's our imaginary part, uh, excluding the i. So that would be 3 square root of 2, the b. They're also wanting us to find the argument of z. And our theta starts at 3 pi over 4. So we put 3 pi over 4, you always put theta. And we can add and subtract 2 pi over and over to get back to this same location. So we're going to have plus 2 pi k given k is an integer. Now we also want the principal argument, uppercase A, of z, which is simply theta, which is 3 pi over 4. And those will be our answers.